first graders, I'm outside at school and I loved looking at our campus, but today I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up at the sky. What are some of the things that we see in the sky? Well, I see a lovely cloud in the distance. Oh, I see a few more clouds. I see a beautiful blue sky. Oh, there's some clouds over there. What else might, I see some tall trees up there. Oh, and look, oh, I can't even look all the way over because it's very bright on this side, the sun. I see the sun in the sky. Sometimes we see birds flying. Oh, I just saw a little butterfly fly by. So there's all kinds of different things that are in the sky. There are birds flying during the day. We see the sun, we see the clouds. At night, we see the stars. So, and I'm interested in finding out more about what's happening in the air around us and the air around us going all the way up to the blue sky way up there all of that sky that is called the earth's atmosphere hi first graders i just came inside we had been outside looking at the sky we saw clouds in the sky we saw the sun in the sky and we talked a little bit about what are some of the things that you see in the sky. And one of the things that I see in the sky sometimes is rain. We don't see that much rain here in Southern California, but sometimes there's rain. We see clouds, we see the stars at night, but that's in the, the weather happens in the atmosphere, in the air that's all around us. And I would like us to keep track of the weather for the next four months. So the rest of November, all of December, all of January and all, and all of February until our next unit. So I want us to keep track of what is happening in the atmosphere. Make sure that you make a note of what the weather is like every single day. I think sometimes you might do this as part of your class calendar. Then the other thing I want us to keep track of is the moon. Have you ever noticed that sometimes the moon seems to change? Sometimes I don't see the moon at all. Sometimes I see a half moon. Sometimes I see a whole moon, but it always seems to change. I would like it if you could keep track of what does the moon look like each day and see if we can find a pattern. We'll be learning about the moon phases in a few weeks, but I wanna see if you can figure out a pattern before we get there. I'd like to end today by just reading this little book called Day and Night. And it is by Robin Nelson. Day and night. Day follows night. Night comes after day. What makes this cycle of days and nights happen? So there's day, and then the sun is setting, and it's going to be night. Earth spins in space. In the morning, your part of the earth is turning to face the sun. Oh, doesn't earth look beautiful in space? Oh my goodness, beautiful. Oh, this little girl is waking up in the morning. She's got a lot of light all around because she's facing the sun. You see the first light from the sun at dawn. We also might call it sunrise, right? The sun rises into the sky at sunrise. Well, there you go. Dawn and sunrise. Beautiful. Now it is day. You can see the sun and clouds in the sky. Earth keeps spinning. In the evening, your part of Earth is turning away from the sun.
The sun moves lower in the sky at sunset. You can no longer see the sun at dusk. It's fun to go camping and get to be able to see the whole sunrise and sunset. It is night. You can see the moon and the stars in the sky. Ooh, what a beautiful moon that is. Earth turns. The sun will come up again in the morning. The cycle goes on and on. And here's a little picture showing here's the sun and the earth is rotating. It is spinning. We're going to be talking about that more next week. But for right now, I want you guys to make sure that you pay attention to the weather and what does the moon look like. Boys and girls, please get out your science notebook and you're going to go to the next page and I want you to kind of create one extra page. I want you to write like a heading before our next unit, air and weather. That's the name of our next unit and I want you to just leave that page blank. So you know that we're gonna start a new unit. Then I want you to find this page. I think it's the very last page of the packet that I gave you and it's called hours of daylight and I want you to glue that into your science journal just like I did and I'm going to put the date at the top of my science journal and it's going to be a different date for, than you guys have and let's take a look at what this says it says hours of daylight how does the amount of daylight change over the year now, this is really interesting because we just had daylight savings time where we changed the clocks and now it's getting dark really early. But you know what? We can take a look and see how does the daylight change over an entire year. So boys and girls, I found out the number of hours of daylight for each of these months. And I want you to record this in your notebook. So go along with me. You've glued this into your notebook, hours of daylight. And in January, on January 21st, we had 10 hours and 17 minutes of daylight. 10 hours and 17 minutes. In February, on February 21st, we had 11 hours and 12 minutes of daylight. On March 21st, we had 12 hours and 13 minutes of daylight. So boys and girls, do you notice I'm doing the, uh, the, the hour here and the minute over here as if this was a clock? Then on April 21st, we had 13 hours and 15 minutes of daylight. On May 21st, here in Los Angeles, we had 14 hours and six minutes of daylight. On June 21st, we had 14 hours and 25 minutes of daylight. Now, it's starting to get interesting. Do you guys see a pattern? It started out with just 10 hours and each month we got more light. More light means more heat, right? Okay, but in August, actually in July, we got 14 hours and three minutes of daylight. What do you think is gonna start happening? I think it's gonna get less, right? Because this is the summer and now it's starting to move to the fall. In August, we had 13 hours 
and 11 minutes of daylight. In September, we had 12 hours and eight minutes of sunlight, daylight on our, in Los Angeles. In October, we had 11 hours and six minutes of daylight. Now, we still have November and December to go, right? Before we go back to January. But do you guys have a prediction? Do you think that November and December will have more light each day or less light each day? Well, let's see if your prediction is right. So on November 21st, we're gonna keep track of how many hours of daylight we will have, and then we'll do the same thing in December. This is gonna be a really fun unit. I'm looking forward to spending time with you guys.